What? I just got here. Don't tell me there's like a hidden quest or something. I guess there is. Hey, I know you. Mister I believe we've met. We have. How? When? Oh. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. Why would you ask? Mayor thinks you robbed him. What? Uh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief. And I remember son, you. Eagle Flags. Gentlemen. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. <gasps> oh, that was you? We upstairs. We have great powers of observation. And, and memory. For you. Are even a people anymore? To me, you are. Hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And Disgusting. We've been moved and punished. And Disgusting. Punished and moved. What? I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly Where? Contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. Sometimes it we has to, though. Fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I I'm not even is, surprised. It's always proof. something to do with oil. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government. Wow, he gets around. Of oil under There's land. never an episode where someone does so not mention Levi Leviticus. Obviously they can't. And even more obviously, I would be useless. So, so I'm I here. I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Oh, now let's How let's much? go back to the conversation. Told you How much? All mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. I need all the money I can get. Like any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And How's like that? You, my time here is now undone. So I can relate to you guys in that we aspect. Understand, and we will pay. Okay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Have faith in your man, bro. Have faith in your dad. Oh, no. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. That's so interesting. They want me to steal a document, but honestly, they have every right to fight back. I don't care what anyone says. I still can't get with the fact that we as citizens basically rob them of their very land that they've been staying at for much longer than we have. And yet we had the audacity to act like it was ours from the beginning. So crazy. The, like, the audacity is so high in this situation. Ooh, someone is in need of help. I want to see this. This guy has a lot of anger management issues. I gotta check this full out. You okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors. I just got here asking if you're good. Like, calm down. I'm inclined to agree. Here, help me, please. And you're asking for help after you insulted me. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shall the hot poker up the ass. Not the ass. Oh. oh. What are you, some kind of 
European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Okay, ass away. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say to that. Like, you look like I should entertain children. Uh, you look like children should run away from you. No, <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Okay. My ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy it's a boat. Yeah, why you gotta be so philosophical boat. about it? Power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. Ooh. Ways I cannot see. Still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Look at him oh kissing Lord. their asses. <laughs> while a few seconds ago he was just Gentle talking shit God. about them. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. I don't. You, you are old. Oh, but oh what the I heck? You immortal. How is that a good pitch? You <laughs> are old. Using waves you cannot see. I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Is Why am I the buffoon? Which part of? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, what if I ruin it? What if I blow it up? Could do it. I am so, which one am I? Am I the buffoon this, or the moron? This. Don't touch that. Okay. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Okay. Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Oh, okay. so. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, Technology can do in the Ooh. hands of certified genius. We this is fun. Those mines are not so small. Okay. It's doing Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do close to the battleship and shoot with torpedo. Okay, okay, I got it. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And also, hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Ooh, ooh. you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. How is this a secret to life if you're blowing up stuff? Yay! I'm not sure about that. Okay, so right here. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm blowing them up. Chill. Oh, I mean, this is fun and all, but low key, it's a little bit hard. I'm not really good at aiming like that. Okay, so one more, right? Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Especially since this boat's already smoking as it is. Okay, I'm ready. Yay! Nice. Okay. Okay. This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. 
Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Hog. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Got it. Well, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Says the one who's calling me names like dimwit and whatnot. Whatever. The, the telegraph machine. Uh, am I here? They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. I'm very tempted to blow up that boat over there. The one with the people the I know. The voice of the... And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dim with here. Hey, Why do you keep you on insulting me? On yeah, seriously. All you think about is sales. I mean, capitalism, baby. That's what America's about. Am I right? Or did I miss that memo? Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Whenever I have the time, I guess. Forgive my European course. In the Balkans, we are a mannerless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment. And, and, and this is for military purposes? No. It is for humanity itself. If you sell it to the Americans, they're going to make it into a military purpose. You see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me and not stab me in the ass like the other Americans. Traitors! He really... He has horrible social skills. He has a good invention, but little to no social skills. Bro. With that type of attitude, you're not gonna sell any- Wow! He's crazy! What's wrong with him? Anyways, I'm walking away and minding my own business. He really just shot himself. In the foot. We will do it at my lab. I'll see you at your lab then. Take a pamphlet. Learn all about our great religion and understand the importance of safety in nature. Oh my gosh, what is this now? What what pamphlet? I gotta see this. What is this fool talking about? Where you at? I could have sworn I heard someone. This land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It Open is your only eyes, fool. here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia. Chelonia? The true American's religion. The one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year. How do you know that? Our prophet from above. And who's the prophet? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? What is that? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about 100 years ago in a land not very far from here. You're very general with your Take details. Look, please. Okay, let me see this. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. All I did was it take the book. Of safety. 
A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism... What is that? Why are you not answering that that detail? Plus, what is plus, that? Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. I love Arthur. He is so honest at times. That is so funny. I'm going to need to look that up, though. I, I wonder what type of religion it is. I'll read it in between my missions, but still. Sleepwalking? I'm just trying to ride my horse, sir. Anyways. Yeah, uh, yes, what happened? Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm being mugged? That's cute. Bye. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. That is so funny. What? You too, asshole? Come here. There you go. There you go. Oh, wow. That's so cute. They actually thought. They actually thought that they could rob me. How adorable. Come here, fool. Where you at? No, you're not. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, <laughs> Look at that. Bro, they really thought that they were able to rob me. How cute. So pathetic. Like, get a job. Go church. Help yourself. Vernon. All of them. I did not know that you can actually get mugged in this game. Rockstar did a really good job of adding in the realism here because seriously, I could not imagine getting robbed in this game. Let me see what this fool had because he was really trying to hide his way from getting shot by me. I really hope I don't get sick because it would suck if I catch the code in this rain. I did get a lot of money though, so it is worth it. Question is, clearly this is not their first time doing this, so... But I am glad I was able to stop them nonetheless, because if I didn't, they would have kept going. Is this the blind prophet from, like, episodes and episodes ago? Yeah, I'll give you some money. I got plenty enough anyways. You can take some. Just be safe, okay? Make it's not your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Hmm, that's so crazy how he said that too. Is that some kind of foreshadowing? Yeah. Alright. Just for that, I'll follow your advice. Thank you, sir. I'm here. King. Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I, I won't need to. If this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Of course. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Say less. Let's go. Woo! I got it! I'm in the wagon. Holy cow, this is so fun. All right, this is it. I'm in the wagon and I'm on my way to steal them documents. Look at that. Now, 
I'm not going to say this is going to be an easy mission because I know if I do, I would totally jinx myself. Man, this storm is so ugly. I'm not going to lie. You can really catch a cold in this weather. Can we talk about the music, though? I love, love, love the soundtrack to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is it. I'm actually going in. Now, do I keep on staying in the wagon, or...? How would I know they're not going to search in the wagon? Pick it up. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. I assume the wagon is so dark that they can't even see me inside anyways. They really don't check, huh? Wow, they actually do not check. Then again, we are in the middle of the storm, so of course they're going to have a hard time seeing me in the wagon. All right, I'm sneaking in. Let's go. Wish me luck. I've been to this place before. You know how many times I got shot up and killed? It was so annoying. Now, he did say something about the second floor, so... I'm gonna climb up here. What? I can't go in? Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? The ladder. Maybe this would lead me to the one window with the curtain, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Can I jump? What? What do they do? Danbury destroyed the documents. Oh, he saw me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do this all over again. This is so corny. Okay, so here's the plan. Don't bother going to the second floor at all because that door is closed. It's locked, so I can't even get in. So my plan, I guess the game wants me to go through that open door that's at the first floor and then somehow sneak my way to the second floor to then get into Danbury's office to get said documents. So I really want to know how this is going to get played out. Because I wonder what would happen if I accidentally kill someone. Would I be found out? Probably. So I gotta be really slick about this. Because I'm not really in the mood to repeat this mission over and over again. I mean, look what just happened! I made a mistake without me, me realizing I made a mistake. You, you know what I mean? Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. He didn't even bother to look inside the wagon. That is so funny. I'm here. Hopefully I'll be able to do this without any mistakes. But knowing me, knowing me, I would be making a lot of mistakes. All right. I'm gonna start loading up. Nice. Look at me, look at me. Hey, Arthur, I see you. Alright, sneak into the factory. Nice. And that's... I'm gonna go through that very open door. Clearly, because the second floor is locked, so... Oh, I see someone there. There's a whole bunch of people here. How am I supposed to get to the second floor? 
this is going to be one hell of a dishonored type of sneaking here. Okay, he's standing there. Wow, I'm actually doing it, you guys. He's sweeping, so he's definitely not going to pay attention to me. I just love how the music is suddenly intense, like, really? So I got one person over there. Should I wait? Yeah. It's a good thing I'm waiting. So the office is right over there. I should have no issues. Thankfully, they're not able to hear my footsteps. Thanks to these machines. Because I know for a fact, these are the type of floors that would queak and squeal and make mad noises for no reason. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be so funny. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Excuse me? Does that seem important right now? No. So where is it? Don't make me beat you. Don't make me beat you. Damn, Barry. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. Do you want to lose your mind? Should I beat you? It's here. It's here. Where? Where? Where is it? Show me. Thank you. Wow, you are so cooperative. Thank you. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Or I'll beat you. Yes. It's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. You got that? Okay. Pretty well. Pretty good. Thanks for the meeting. Appreciate you, Danbury. Oh, that was so easy. Oh, screw this. Hell yeah, let's go. So one and two and got you. Run. Shit. There you go. Come on. Are you kidding me? Got one. Got one. Woo. There's a whole bunch of them. Where's my horse? Oh, come on. Where's my horse? I'm trying to figure out where my horse is. Eagle. Oh, Eagle. He's over there somewhere. Great. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a pain in the... I don't even have any other weapons either. Okay. Eagle. He did that. He's crazy. But, hey, I respect the kid nonetheless. Really? How are you still... How are you still alive? Let me put in more bullets. And also, let me eat in between, because I'm not trying to die. Excuse me? There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, shoot. I'm about to die. Woo, I'm about to die. All right, let me eat. Let me eat. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's awkward. That is so awkward. They didn't even see me. Okay, where's Eagle f uh, Flies? 
This is insane. He did that? He actually did all of this. And for what? That boy's a fool. Oh, that's where he is. Come on, let's go. You crazy. I mean, I appreciate the distraction. Don't get me wrong. You came in clutch for that. But you could have gotten yourself killed, eagle flies. They could come after us all they want. They ain't gonna get us. Where they at? Bye. Yeah, with my saw gun. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, one down. And one down. Nice. Good, that means that they're not bothering us anymore. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, my yeah, fist met his face. He was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Mmm, touche, touche. Shame my love. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.